hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, today I just want to show you a um, basically what it is is it's a full adder um, using the new comparators um, to basically do addition. Uh, and the the reason I created this was to show that I can uh, calculate and display with numbers greater than 15. Um, so that's what I've done. So I'm just going to think up um, two random numbers. Um, I don't know, 30, 34, I'll write these down, 34 uh, plus, now I'll go for a quite big number. So say 100 and, let's say 102. Just because I've done a previous calculation that was equal to 102, so I'll use that. Um, so to enter any numbers, um, these are hundreds, these are tens, and these are ones. Um, and your different numbers is like the blues of one set of numbers and your reds are another set of numbers. So the reds will be 34. So on this one here we're going to enter in 4. And this one here we're going to enter in 3. Yeah, I did that. Yep, yeah, cool. And then the blues, to enter in 102, we're going to put a 1 on the blue. Zero in the tens for the blue, and a two here, and so the answer should be a hundred and thirty-six. So let's uh, test this out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So that's our thirty and one here for our one hundred and thirty-six. <sighs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Um. So essentially, <laughs> I don't quite know how I'm going to explain this um, in a like quick way. Um, but essentially, if I if I start writing some stuff down, so essentially I'm doing two calculations in each uh, block. So the first thing I test for in in the block is if 10 minus, and let's say the two inputs are A and B, if that is equal to zero, and that essentially means it's also less than zero, but of course with redstone you'll just get zero. And that's fine. So that's the first test we do. And then if that's not true, so uh, we'll say um, the exclamation mark is general for um, not. Uh, you could use other symbols as well, but I'm going to use the exclamation mark for not true, or <laughs> otherwise false. I could use false. Oh well. Um, so if that's not true, then what we do is we just add A and B. And then we, I already know then that I can add A and B. Um, <clears throat> now I haven't put in the third line yet that you might have seen earlier but I'll talk to you about that in a minute so that's just add a and b but if it is true then what we want to do is we want to do um, b b minus 10 minus a so basically the difference between a and 10 because of course a can't be greater than 10 because you can only enter up to 10 like in in decimal format um, so 10 minus a you work out the difference between them and then you minus that from b and that will allow you to work out um, the value that it should read pardon me uh, the value that it should read uh, in front now the third line that you see here marked with this yellow. This is the uh, carry carry line. Um, you'll notice that these are all exactly the same. So the carry line here does nothing because it's not getting it from anything. Uh, but the carry line from here is going to take it from this one here. So essentially, what the carry is doing is just say like adding in a, a C. So this time, if it is true, what we're doing, well, sorry, um, the actual test this time. If I just put this like up here, it's going to be 10 minus a minus b minus c. 
Um, so you're basically minusing one as well um, from the end, because the carry should only ever uh, equal one, like you're carrying one over from the previous one. Um, and so if this time it is true, then what we're doing is going to do b minus 10 minus a minus c. Um, and so all we're doing is just like putting the c in with it uh, so that it will calculate through and then if it's not true like this one here if you, you might have guessed it's simply that a plus b plus c and that will give us our output <clears throat> and so the, basically what we're doing is we're doing these two calculations or well, the, fir the first test is the um, conditional uh, 10 minus a minus b minus c so that's just happening along this one here so I'm just minusing them along and if it turns out to be less than 0 or equal to 0 this light will turn them which will send the carry round and also will change these pistons round. Um, these pistons are basically just saying which calculation should go through whether it be this calculation or this calculation. So in this instance here what we're saying is that these numbers uh, if you do 10 minus input minus input we get um, something that's greater than 10, greater than 0 even and so we can just add the values together and so I'm using this top row here and doing the what I generally do for adding numbers so it's 15 minus a minus b minus c and then you take your new answer and do 15 minus your new answer and that will give us uh, this output here which we'll just go through and then comes to this line here and gives us this output um, and then with the other line um, if I can like get into here uh, I can't really uh, but essentially what's happening is we have this is um, 10 coming in a signal strength of 10 coming in and then we're doing 10 minus C 10 minus we'll call this one A like red uh, 10 minus a or like the value we got after that one so it's 10 minus carry um, your new value minus a and then you do b minus what you've um, calculated there and it will come out here and so if that was true then the um, that piston would be down so if I want to make that true uh, just change these to bigger numbers Um, that makes it true, yep. <clears throat> so then you see the pistons have switched round, and um, what we've got here is now changed as well because it's using this bottom bottom line here. So uh, what we're doing is um, 9876 plus 7, and so 6 plus 7 is 13, so we see three lights on here and the carry 1 is from the 10 of 13 so we get the carry 1 and that adds it to here using the carry okay um, that's all it for the moment thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time bye